Okay, so here's a video on how to set this up kind of like V-Control. Um, this is a brand new model. There's nothing programmed in it. Um, the Lua for the bat selector is already installed. So on your front screen here, tap and hold for a sec and choose configure widget here. You're gonna go down, you're gonna choose bat select. Um, this is where all the real magic happens and Keith, Keith has done an amazing job here. Um, this really duplicates a lot of the functionality that I missed in V-Control. So batteries, you come in and this is just like on V-Control when you first plug in your battery, it comes up with a menu, you can select a battery, add a new one. So that's what you're doing here. You're gonna, you're gonna type in what battery you have, the capacity, um, and you can do that for all of your batteries. Then when you go down favorites, you can select a favorite for each individual model. I personally don't use that because I use a lot of different packs. Images, this, if you're using a single model file, will trigger based on the model ID and will change the image on the screen. So when I plug in my Tron Orion, that comes up. When I plug in my The Goblin, that comes up with the image. And then down here is the preferences, same as in V control. Um, you select the use capacity. I'm using 80. Um, enable voltage check is kind of nice. If you turn that on, you can set the minimum voltage per cell. Um, I choose four volts. Then if I plug in a pack that's not charged, it will warn me. So you're gonna set that up. Then we're gonna jump back. And now we have our battery selector widget on there. Um, and obviously you don't have to put it in this one big box, put it in a little box. And so when you tap on it, now you can choose different packs. So now it's going to, so like, let's say I choose this, uh, let's say I choose this Pulse 5000. Now it's going to create a telemetry sensor called remaining that it's going to calculate 80% of that capacity and count down starting at 100 and then zero is when 20% is still left in the pack, exactly like V-Control does it. So to give us the telemetry that we want, we're gonna hit model, go over to logic switches, we're gonna create a new logic switch, we're gonna, rename, we're gonna name it whatever. Um, just for this, I'm just gonna call it re because it's a pain typing on camera. Um, go down here to the delta with two lines, and I'm sure there's a, I think it's absolute delta. I don't know, it's greater than X. So what that's gonna do is it's going to trigger based on a percentage change. So we're going to go down to source, and once we set up the battery select, widget, it's going to create a telemetry sensor called remaining, which is there. It's already there. It's already selected. It's the only one here. Value. Um, I choose 10%. That duplicates how much, um, that duplicates what V-Control does. So that's now 10%. So every 10% as it counts down is going to trigger this logic switch. You could tell it the check interval, whatever, the default's 100 milliseconds, you can do it more, you can do it less, it doesn't really matter. Active condition, personally, I have it based on my arm switch, so it's not gonna be calculating this stuff and triggering when, I, uh, when it's not armed, because I don't really care. So if you pull this up, this is my arm switch, and pull it down, now it's active by my arm switch. And we don't need any of these other things. We don't need any comments. We're gonna hit return and jump out. Now we have that. So you're gonna to wanna to duplicate this if you want a backup so that when it gets to zero, it doesn't get missed. Um, so if you long press, whoops. If you press, it's gonna come up with this menu. You can choose clone and then go in, edit, change the name to whatever. I'm just gonna do re whatever, re zero, re zero e. Um, and now I'm gonna change this to equals, a equals x, and the value is now going to be zero. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna only trigger 
this logic switch when that remaining capacity gets down to zero, which is 20% left in your battery, just like V-Control does. So we're gonna jump out, go over one to special functions. Um, I have the right logs, that's a global one. If you don't have it writing logs, you should turn that on. Um, we're gonna make a new special function and we're gonna go to this where it says reset and we're gonna say play audio. We're going to enable it, active condition. We're going to select the logic switch that we just made. We'll choose the first one. It's already there. And we're going to just repeat once. We can skip on startup if we want. doesn't really matter. And we're going to add a new line in the sequence. Type. We're going to play value. Source will be our telemetry. And it's on remaining because that's the only telemetry sensor I have on here. You will have more. Um, and then unit on. And so now what this is going to do is whenever that first logic switch, which comes up every 10%, is triggered, this special function will go and it will play the value of the remaining telemetry sensor. So that will give you the 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, zero call outs exactly like V control does. Now, personally, I like to have another backup. So for me, I, that's why I created that, why I cloned and created that other logic switch. So now what I do is I come here, I clone it, come in, we're gonna edit it, and it's gonna trigger off of the other logic switch, which I'm just going to tap on it, ROE, and like I said, name those whatever you want. Um, and now this is still going to trigger when it gets to zero and play the remaining zero balance, the remaining zero, but I, I, I would like it to repeat this just in case it's noisy and I can't hear it. So, you know, how about we repeat it for five seconds? And now if we go into here, we can edit the sequence of the value, and we can also make it vibrate the transmitter, just like V-Control does. That's the haptic thing. And if we jump back, we could even add another line in the sequence. You could record something that said land now, whatever you want. But those functions will duplicate the telemetry function of a V-Control in a FreeSky Ethos radio. Uh, this script, it works with the X20s with the high resolution screen. This is an X18 RS. It has the same resolution screen as the X20. Um, it also works on my X18 and I have one of the little X Lite uh, S's. It works on that. I don't think it works on every FreeSky radio. There's something to do with the resolution, but uh, Keith has done amazing work on this to help me replace V-Control. Hope this helps.